The glory days of Stockton and Malone, a thing of the past in Utah. The Jazz improvising with an up-tempo beat led by the running Russian. The Pacers face Andre Karolenko and company next. The Pacers close out their four-game Western trip, final game of the season out west. And this one taking them from the Rocky Mountains to the Pacific Northwest, out to Hollywood, now right back to the Rockies. Tonight, we're at the Delta Center in Salt Lake City, Pacers' first meeting this year against the Utah Jazz. And while the Jazz surprisingly this season out of the playoff picture, Pacers in the heat of the race, 23 games left, Pacers in the eighth and final spot, just a half game ahead of the Sixers, but a log jam of three teams right in front, all in striking distance. And Quinn, the Pacers right now, just trying to stay the course without two of their offensive generators in Jermaine O'Neal and Jamal Tinsley. And obviously, you got to look other places, and they've been able to have some success when they've looked for somebody to score. It has been Steven Jackson. You could take a look at his numbers. Four out of the last five games, he's been the leading scorer. Freddie Jones moved in at a starter at the point guard spot, and you can take a look at those numbers, but equally impressive is he's had 13 uh, assists and one turnover. With Jack, it's been the ability to knock down three point shots that's been really helpful. Fred Jones is athletic. He can get out and run. And so when Dale Davis gets this rebound, outlets it to Fred, he also knows how to finish. So that's been a pleasant surprise for the Pacers doing this step. Pacers tonight have an opportunity to come out of this uh, Western trip with a two game uh, two and two split of the four games and here against Utah supposed to be part of the Western elite this year offseason big free agent signings of Carlos Boozer and Mehmet Okor also the return of Matt Harpering who was out most of last year with an injury but here they are coming into tonight's game with a record of 20 and 39 what's up Quinn well they really had a hard time with injuries first of all they Andre Karolinko has missed 26 game with a spring knee active player they don't have that activity Raul Lopez is a very good guard he's out for the season with a knee injury and Carlos Boozer their free agent signee has missed the last eight they've had a tough time getting continuity here with this club Al but Karolenko is now back and uh, this is a cast of energy players making them always dangerous Yeah, without a doubt I mean he's 6'11 he blocks shots he runs then they get high energy toughness from Mark Matt Harpering who will go down and make plays as they need to be the guy that's probably been the most consistent under all of this has been Roger Bell and his ability to defend and knock down shots Pacers and the Jazz well they roll up their sleeves against one another tonight first meeting of the season they'll complete the season series next Wednesday in Indiana so two games against one another this year and they'll come within the next eight days first up tonight in Salt Lake City Pacers versus the Jazz on WB4 Johnson and NJ jump it's controlled by Johnson Two on one kill. Oh. Under a minute and a half. something missing from your tournament action this year the NCAA tournament's not complete without the Mega March Madness package from DirecTV now you can watch up to 37 live tournament games from outside your region. Not missing out on any hoops action. Just another example of how DirecTV is